Books on the rail gets people reading. How do people usually pass the time on the bus or train to work? Check their phone, listen to music, or take a nap? Books on the rail is a movement that aims to attract people to read more during their commute. Books on the rail was started by Michelle Kellis and Ali Berg. It encourages people to leave books on public transportation in Melbourne, Australia. Passengers can then find the books, read them, and leave them for more people to enjoy. Each Books on the Rail book has a sticker on the cover to mark it as different. People can also write a location or even a review on a piece of paper attached inside these books. This way, People can easily trace the journey of a particular book. Berg and Kellis were inspired by a similar movement called Books on the Underground in London. In the future, perhaps more cities will have their own movements to leave books for people to find. Vocabulary Nap. Ted didn't sleep very well last night, so he's going to take a nap after lunch. Attract. This cafe especially attracts art students, as it is a creative space where they can work. Passenger. This plane can hold up to 300 passengers, though some other planes can transport more than 800. Sticker. Remember to remove the size sticker from your new jeans before you wear them tonight. Trace. In science class, the students trace the growth of three different types of plants. Inspire. This old song is actually what inspired my parents to name me Amy.